For generations, Neptune has been one of the solar system's most mysterious and elusive giants. Placed almost 4.5 billion kilometers from our planet, it occupies the shadowy outer fringe of our planetary clan. Wrapped in a thick atmosphere full of methane and fueled by stormy winds that rage across its surface at more than 2,000 kilometers per hour. Relative to its more well-known siblings, Saturn and Jupiter, Neptune has been underobserved by missions. Its distance, faintness, and distinct tilt make it challenging to study over the long haul. Neptune is thus far a distant, icy enigma, until now. In a breathtaking turn of events that has generated waves of excitement throughout the astronomical world, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most advanced and capable space observatory that has ever existed, observed a planetary event so spectacular that it will potentially rewrite the textbooks. As part of a regular observation campaign to keep an eye on Neptune's atmospheric activity, JWST observed a gigantic, record-breaking impact. Something gigantic had struck Neptune, releasing a surge of energy and disturbance through the ice giant's atmosphere, rings, and even its possible magnetic field. This forceful and unexpected impact showed us just how much there remains to be discovered about the dynamic processes occurring at the outer edges of the sun's reach. What's more amazing about this discovery is that JWST was not specifically seeking out planetary collisions. The main job of the telescope is to gaze billions of years back in time by viewing the oldest galaxies and examining the atmospheres of distant planets. However, its sensitive infrared instruments were performing routine observations of Neptune's southern hemisphere when they picked up something peculiar, a brief, instantaneous spike of infrared radiation. Typically, Neptune gives off a relatively stable, cold infrared signal. But here, suddenly, the signature flared, almost immediately followed by discernible distortions in the outer cloud layers. This wasn't weather. This was something much larger. Early estimates indicated a titanic energy input had hit Neptune, disturbing its clouds as well as inducing shock waves that propagated through enormous atmospheric expanses. The observations indicated high thermal gradients, a sure indicator of a high-velocity external penetration. Spectral measurements and dynamic modeling later verified everyone's suspicion this was an impact event. The impacting body was calculated to be between 30 and 50 kilometers in diameter, a small moon or big asteroid. With Neptune's dense, opaque atmosphere, no impact crater or surface wound was visible, but the size of the atmospheric disruption raised little doubt. What ensued was spectacular. JWST observed the progress of the impact's aftermath in real time. The infrared flare persisted longer than anticipated, then was followed by the creation of a fuzzy arc of particulate material in the upper atmosphere. This cloud of debris, seen both in infrared and visible spectrums, hung suspended for a few Earth days, whirling in a slow ballet, probably made up of crushed ice and rock from the impactor. Notably, its spectral fingerprint resembled very closely that of Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, icy bodies that reside just beyond Neptune. This implies the impactor was perhaps a rogue KBO, nudged off course by gravitational encounters, even perhaps with Neptune itself, and drawn inexorably to death. This finding gives new urgency to our knowledge of solar system dynamics. For years, scientists have assumed large-scale impacts were uncommon in the modern era, more typical of the early solar system when billions of objects smashed into each other and merged to become planets and moons. But the Neptune impact refutes that. It suggests that catastrophic and enormous bodies can still be hiding in the outer solar system, waiting to be sent on new trajectories that take them toward catastrophic fates. Neptune's reaction was equally persuasive. The planet's magnetic field, already the most unorthodox in the solar system owing to its extreme axial tilt and displaced magnetic poles, displayed measurable evidence of transient disruption. Charged particle sensors recorded variations in the high-energy environment around Neptune. This indicates that the collision did not just disrupt the upper atmosphere but reached deeper, perhaps impacting Neptune's interior layers. This leaves the door open to the possibility that this kind of event could affect the creation of magnetic fields, a poorly understood process in ice giants such as Neptune and Uranus. The implications extend far beyond Neptune. 
To planetary defense planners on Earth, this event serves as a sober reminder. An object of similar size impacting our world would leave us devastated on a global scale. The capability to catch such objects in time is paramount, yet this effect, a vivid and violent cosmic occurrence, happened suddenly and would have gone entirely undetected were it not for JWST's accuracy. Ground telescopes, however powerful, would likely have overlooked the short infrared flash, particularly considering Neptune's faintness and Earth's atmospheric interference. This underscores the imperative for additional committed monitoring systems, not only for Earth, but also for the solar system as a whole. At Neptune, meanwhile, the aftermath of the impact continues to unfold. Atmospheric researchers are watching wave propagation across the planet's mid-latitudes, longitudinal shock waves that seem to propagate through the densest layers of Neptune's atmosphere. Changes in jet stream speeds indicate that some bands have sped up or moved. Neptune's jet streams, which were already some of the solar system's quickest, now display fresh patterns of turbulence, suggesting energy transfer still underway. The planet's rings, tenuous and unsubstantiated structures that are not yet well understood, also flickered with enhanced brightness. Some arcs in the ring system seem to shimmer, possibly a consequence of micrometeorite activity initiated by debris dispersal or gravitational disruptions from the impact. One of the most scientifically interesting facets of this occurrence is its chemical signature. Post-impact spectral data showed an injection of hydrocarbons and nitrogen-containing compounds into Neptune's upper atmosphere, substances that either derived from the impactor itself or were brought up from depths by the shock. This chemical alteration offers a unique chance to examine how extreme events can reorganize atmospheric chemistry. Such information can be translated directly into the analysis of exoplanetary atmospheres, where comparable effects can affect habitability or detectable biosignatures. In essence, Neptune has become a laboratory for comparative planetology at extreme conditions. The event has also rekindled interest in Uranus, Neptune's twin planet, whose compositional and atmospheric similarities exist but which has been even less explored. With neither planet having any huge missions planned for the near future, researchers are now calling on space agencies to make the ice giants a priority for future exploration. The Neptune impact has made it clear how dynamic and unpredictable these outer worlds can be. Studying them isn't merely about scientific curiosity. It may prove crucial in deciphering the processes that form planets in the galaxy. Theoretical implications are staggering. Some theories of late solar system evolution feature simulations in which gas giants and ice giants move away from their initial orbits, sending debris flying off into new paths. This occurrence is consistent with the theory that such activity is ongoing now, but slowly and imperceptibly. The suggestion that massive impacts remain a possibility all the way out from the sun redraws our image of what constitutes a subtle solar system. The outer solar system is not necessarily a cosmic graveyard, but an area of peaceful, slow-motion turmoil still in the process of unfolding. One of the most persuasive take-homes from this whole event is how it recontextualizes our conception of time and action in the solar system. The outer planets were, for centuries, conceived of as peaceful, icy relics, changeless memorials to the solar system's history. But Neptune has since demonstrated that there is still drama at the edge. A planet long mired in obscurity and neglected in favor of more glamorous giants has emerged into the limelight to remind us that the universe is still very much alive. The international astronomical community is quickly moving to take advantage of the data. Hubble, still providing high-resolution images in visible and ultraviolet light, has also realigned its timetables to observe Neptune for any ongoing impacts. Ground observatories in Chile, Hawaii, and Spain also are preparing their instruments for follow-up observations. The European Southern Observatory has proposed a concerted spectrographic campaign monitoring Neptune's changing chemical makeup. Simultaneously, theoretical physicists are updating solar system impact probability models using the new information. A previously quiet world has become the hub of a new scientific renaissance. In a poetic sense, this cosmic smash is a reminder of just how little we actually do know. The further we look into the universe, the more we discover that our own backyard still contains secrets. 
JWST, built to steady galaxies billions of light years distant, has ended up showing us something breathtaking right within our own solar system. It recorded not only an impact, but a moment, a glimmer of fact about how dynamic, delicate, and interlinked planetary systems are. So, while we observe the debris creeping away into Neptune's churning veil, we are reminded that the universe is not fixed. It changes. It surprises. And it crashes. The James Webb Space Telescope was gazing outward into a very old universe, but in so doing, it brought our focus inward, back to the rim of our solar system, where Neptune resides, not as a blue mute sentinel, but as an actor in the ever-unfolding drama of the universe. And maybe the most important lesson of all is this, if something so enormous can occur so far away, without notice, and go undetected by almost all of our tools save one, how many other things are we missing? Neptune's collision is an invitation to pay attention, look harder, and never suppose the universe has gone still. Because out there, beyond the last seen light, the dance goes on.